Glorious day to you, my friends. Ni arata kachika ti arata. It is August 12th. Ishkarhasa arieta kusha. It is the last day of the Lion's Gate. Chikushka arieta kurata titi. But more importantly, this is the first day of the rest of your life. Kishkunani arata. As cheesy as that is. And in one of the songs, the rest is still unwritten. That's the more important message here. I'm at uh, the Headwater City Park, and there's cabins here. And these trees are so glorious. So the thing that came to me more importantly than Ooh, we got some light codes so with these light codes with today and that this is the this is now and the rest of your life it doesn't matter what happened it does but it doesn't but look so the point is what would you do if you weren't afraid somehow that came in, came into my awareness this morning and uh, these cabins are are so interesting. This this city park, and so are these trees. So I can't remember exactly when it was, 1999, 1998, something like that. But I went to a corporate training, and uh, Stuart, maybe I forget his name. Who moved my cheese? He wrote uh, the little book, and uh, so then he put it on. So I went to lessons in leadership. Anyway, what I got out of the whole thing is, in the middle, he posed the question, "What would you do if you weren't afraid?" And so I wrote some stuff down, and to me. I said, gee, I'd quit my job and become a consultant. That's what I did. It took a while to formulate the plan, but in today's terms, I manifested it. Or the way I thought then was, gee, this is what I want to do. So I made a plan. I listened. I talked to other consultants. How did you do it? And... And I was following the steps of <laughs> manifestation. And I didn't understand manifestation. I just understood that this is how I create my reality. And if I really want it, I will pursue it. Did you see that? Did you just see that? Right there. Walk through an orb of Chikurayata. Uh, <laughs> into a new dimension. So that's what I invite you to do today. Apparently the gimbal wants light codes because it keeps going up. Okay. So as an exercise, write down what is it what it is that you would do if you weren't afraid and another thing that came in earlier was it always astounds me when i hear stories of people that are mad at each other for 20 years especially if it's you know your mother or your father or your child or a brother or a sister it's <laughs> it's always astounding when that happens. And it's not like, I mean, maybe you have reasons, but 
are you continuing that pattern because you don't resonate? Cool. But are you continuing that pattern because I'm right and they're wrong. They piss me off. They need to apologize. All of those egoic things. And do you really want to just talk to them and get the conversation over with so that you can go on to being brother and sister, being mother and daughter, or whatever those the relationship is? Or maybe, you know, is, is fear holding you back on that? Maybe it's applying for that job. Who knows what it is? <laughs> you don't have to have all the answers. That's the, the best part about manifestation is <laughs> you put the idea out to the universe. And we're putting it into writing. If we mark it down, then we can look at it again. You get the point. <laughs> this is your day. Tomorrow's your day too. But now is what we have. These trees are just amazing. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all are dealing with my ADHD here. But don't all the best people have that? <laughs> what would you do if you weren't afraid? Just write it down. Who cares if it's a wish, if it's a hope, if it's a pipe dream? If you're writing it down, it's now in your vortex. Trust me, it's already in your vortex. <laughs> so you might as well write it down. Because if it's in your heart or if it's in your mind somewhere, it's in your vortex. And the light codes confirm. And when you're ready, you'll take action on it. Okay? And maybe it's just, you'll add to your what would you do if you weren't afraid list. When you're ready, you'll take action. When you're ready, you'll add more. When you're ready, you'll ponder the questions. You don't need to <laughs> you know don't, don't need to thoroughly understand why why you don't need to know the why you just need to know that you do and so write it down and manifest <laughs> manifest 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 live don't forget to live in this now but it doesn't mean you can't plant seeds for the next now the new the new now or tomorrow, or next week, or next month, or next year, or next season, whatever it is. Because when we're planting our crops, we do have to look forward to what it is, but we fully focus. We plow our fields for a field well plowed. That's the <laughs> living with a purpose and not for a purpose. Manifesting with a purpose, not for a purpose. I'm starting to blab on now. I'm going to go get my water for the day. More light codes, more light codes, more light codes. I get so excited. Anyway. I love you, my friends. And thank you for joining me on my highest bliss. And make it a great day. Because why would you leave it up to anyone else?